Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of City Skylines. Today we are in the Boreal City that we have that is yet to be named. And I actually got a wonderful name from the commenter named Mars R. And it is to name the city River Hills. And I thought that was just a really great name for this. Especially since we have two rivers running through and it is a really mountainous map. I think it is just fantastic. And so thank you so much for the name. I super appreciate it. And so today what we're going to be doing is working on a couple things that I haven't really uh, spent a whole lot of time on. I've been getting a lot of comments on our high schools and elementaries. And so I did a bunch of research in trying to figure out how to design out to design a really cool high school area. And I think I landed on something fun. And so we're going to go ahead and jump right in. And so the first thing we need to do is start worrying about some access in our city. I did do a couple things in between episodes mainly just uh, tidying up. So I put more trees in the neighborhoods and then I um, put some services back here. Our whole industrial area was really lacking. And then I had to expand our uh, kind of sad trash area over here. We are going to expand this into a full-blown trash area once we get the waste transfer facility. And so that's why I kind of just grouped those all in there. I'm not super worried about it. One of the big things we do need to start worrying about is that this is our only access point to the freeway. And so we really need to start getting some roads across. So I think we are going to extend this road across and do an exit. And then we are also going to be extending this road out and doing an exit. I don't know if we're going to be doing the exits today, but um, we are going to be extending these roads out a little bit. And so I'm going to go jump into the picker mod and I'm going to grab this road. And we are going to keep is snapping on. Yeah, keep snapping on. And then we are going to come across and I want it to... I wanted to have a railroad crossing and then what we're going to do is jump over to our little couplet and we really need to bring this out in a way that's going to make sense. So I think we are going to curve it this way and then have it come up near the railway. And the reason for that is because it's really going to help people who are getting off the freeway to get a little closer to inner city. And it's really going to help us to combine this couplet up with this couplet, which I think is just going to be a fantastic way for us to uh, regulate traffic, especially as we expand. That's really one of the big problems with cities is traffic. And so the more you can plan from the get, the better off you'll be later on. And so we're going to go ahead and use the parallel tool within the network multi-tool. I'm going to bring this out just far enough to where it looks about even with this other road. I think we're going to go a little bit further. We're going to go right there. And then what I'm going to do is connect these up. There you go. Look at that. And then I believe they are going the right direction as well. Yes, they are. And then we will just connect this up just in case somebody drives back here. Though in the game they won't, but now they can and in case they want to turn around. And so let's go ahead and jump back into this road. And let's just go ahead and bring it straight. No, you know what? Let's actually curve it up. One of the fun things about this map is that we're trying to keep it interesting. We're trying to forego the standard grid model. So we're going to go like that. And you know what? I think that is a fantastic space. And it provides uh, access, much needed access for this area, especially the area we're going to be working on today. And so we are going to now jump into a rural road. We're going to go to free form tool. We're going to connect this up. And then I think we're going to be putting our high school right here. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is jump into our big parking lots. And what I'm going to do is just design out a quick little parking lot right here. Nothing fancy. Okay, and so now that we have that, I'm going to jump into the Move It mod. And I'm going to select all of this. And I'm going to Control H on this level. And what that's going to do is just level it all out for us. And it does look like we missed a little bit back here. So I'm going to go ahead and fix that. And then let's go ahead and level out the rest of this space real quick. And so what I want to do is put in some retaining walls and I want to make sure that we can fit in everything that we need. So we want to have basketball, tennis. I think we're going to do the sports hall and gymnasium. And then we are going to do the track and field that I got off the steam workshop. And I really want to just make this into a whole space. And so the first thing we're going to do is drop in our high school. And I want it to be in the middle there. I went ahead and left this space in the middle for us to do uh, some planters and stuff. And then I ended up getting these awesome factory brick buildings off of the steam workshop i'm going to go ahead and throw them in my asset list on steam and what i'm going to do is convert them to a po just so that i can drop them in and not have to worry about their industrial parts and so we're going to go like that and then what we'll do is go ahead and copy that so i'm going to jump in and move it and we will copy it and then what i'm going to do is turn this one sideways because I would really like to be able to fit our elementary school in here. So we're going to go like this. And then what we're going to do is jump into our elementary school and see if this fits in there. Yeah, it does. Look at that. Perfect. And it actually looks like we can slide that over a little bit. 
Let's see about just moving this over enough for us to be able to get like a, a path in here. Nice. And so what I did is I jumped into the Bob mod and I just removed those hedges around the outside because they were going to fall down this cliff and I felt like they just weren't going to look that great. What I would like to do is fit a path through here. And so what we're going to do now is jump in here and we are going to paint this all as a park area. And the reason we're going to do that is so that we can place our uh, sports parks away from the road. It's really going to help us to capture a little more realistic look in here. And so we're now going to jump in here and we are going to go to create main gate. And I think we're going to make the main gate right there. And then let's go ahead and add in a couple other entrances. So I'm going to put that one there. I'm going to move it over just a little bit. And then I'm going to go ahead and put one right there as well. And then I think we can move that one over just a smidge. Yeah, you know what? I actually like that. I think that looks good. It's almost like this is connected to the high school, which is great. And so now let's jump in here and we are going to use these park roads park paths and we're going to connect these up and then we are going to put in another entrance down here we're going to connect this up as well and so now what I would like to do is jump in here and we are going to go to sports hall and gymnasium and I really like this building I think it's great I've used it for schools in the past but I've never done it to this extent and so now I'm going to control H on the same height as the high school and what I want to do is create a little bit of a quad space back here so I think we're going to go like this and I went ahead and jumped into the Bob mod and pretty much removed all the roof vegetation and ground vegetation around the outside just so that we could get the bare bones building because um, I really want to be able to decorate it ourselves. And so now let's jump into a road because this building needs road access. And so we're going to go like right here we're going to go ahead and cut across. We will connect it up right there and then let's go ahead and level this out just so that we can kind of clean it up a little bit. I'll go ahead and turn on snapping just so I can get that perfect. And we'll go like this. Yeah, nice. Look at that. It actually looks really good. And so what we need to do is put in our track and field. And then I want to do the basketball courts right here. And then I think we're going to do the tennis courts in the back. So let's go ahead and add in that track and field first. Because I think we need to extend our road out. Yeah, we do. So let's um we're going to place that right there. And then let's go ahead and lower it down. And then let's turn it and it does need road access. So we are going to use the picker mod, grab our pedestrian road and scratch that. Let's actually extend this out first. We need to go about like right there and then let's turn it. So we'll go like right here and then let's go ahead and move our track and field now right off of that. I really feel like this is going to work out well. So we're going to go like right there and you know what? I think that is fantastic. And so I do want to add in another entrance to our kind of enclosed area back here, even though it's going to kind of look weird. Um, it's going to be necessary for the area. And so we're going to go like this. And if I can grab that, so we're going to go like right here. And I think I'm going to slide it over so that we can get level with that other road. I still think we're a little off. So I'm going to go ahead and grab these nodes. And then what we're going to do is just shift them over enough to where we can line up with that other path. Yeah, there we go. I think that looks pretty good. And so now let's jump in here and go to our basketball courts. So we're going to place two of these. So we'll grab that and we'll turn it. And what I would like to do is create a little bit of a retaining wall around these. I think it just looks really cool. And it's something that I've seen in real life too. Um, it's like whenever you have a school that is on a hill or something um, or at the bottom of a hill, they'll have to do a really big retaining wall around it. And, uh, and I think it just looks really cool. It's a look that I want to try to capture. So we're going to jump back in here, go to our park path and we are going to go straight and we need to do another park entrance over here. So we will do one right there. Perfect. Let's go ahead and connect this up and then let's move these four just enough to where they connect up with that. Yeah, look at that. Nice. I think that already looks nice. I like, I really like the varying heights in this. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do water real quick just so that we can get this notification out of here. Nice. I think that looks really good. And so I think we will place the tennis courts over here. I kind of want to tuck them in behind our track and field. So we're going to go ahead and place that right there. And let's go ahead and place the second one too, just so that we don't have to hop back in there. Let's go ahead and make them the same height as the track and field. And then let's go ahead and turn them because we want to provide a little bit of path access. It's so funny. There's no access at all to these, but there's already people playing tennis. It's like they just magically appeared. 
So we're going to go like this. We'll come up over here and let's go ahead and put in a path back here. So we're going to go like right here. Let's go ahead and turn on snapping just so we can get that perfect little angle. Nice. Look at that. Perfect. And then I think we can add in another park entrance right here. This is really a lot of park entrances, but I really wanted to uh, try and capture like a school kind of enclosed um, area. And so I think this is going to look really good. And we can um, connect up a fence over here too. So let's actually do a fence around. So I need to turn off collision first. So we will jump in here, go back to our fence, turn off snapping. And what that's going to allow me to do is just draw it in. So I'm going to go like this. And I'm going to basically go right next to our path. I'm going to come up here. And then what I'm going to do is connect it up right there again. Nice. Look at that. Perfect. And so we will go like this. Let's go ahead and hook this up as well. Come up over here. Connect that up. And then let's go down here. Connect this up. And then I will do the same thing over here. Come all the way down. You know what, I don't know if we need to go all the way down for this one. So we will just come right there and then let's go ahead and go like that. So we will just grab this and come up over here. We really don't need to go off this backside. I don't think anybody's going to be crawling down that mountain just to go to the, the tennis courts. But I think this already looks really good. I like it. I like having the sports hall and gymnasium in the middle and then these two uh, basketball courts and then all that. And I think now all we need to do is put in the spaces and do some decorating. But I want to jump into our retaining wall first. And so this is a concrete re retaining wall network and it is by Lost Gecko. And again, I'm going to go ahead and throw this on my asset list on Steam. And then one of the things you got to do with this is make sure that you're actually on the hill. because so otherwise it kind of reads really weird. It's definitely meant to uh, be on the hill. And so now what we need to do is go ahead and raise this up. Oh, it looks like I messed up here. So then I will drop that back down. It's so weird, like clicked into the fence. It went down to ground level. I'm guessing it just does it from the bottom of the fence. So what I want this to be is high enough to basically just block people from going over it. And then also to uh, block any rocks that would fall down. That's really the main reason for these is to protect the people down below from anything falling off of the ledge. And so we will go like this. I'm going to hit enter and what I did there was it jumped into the slope mode within the network multi-tool and it just really helps you to level things out much faster. So I think that's pretty good. It's pretty high. Um, it is definitely high enough to block anybody who would maybe be trying to jump over it. Um, mostly kids, but let's go ahead and look at a fence just to see. Yeah, you know, what? that's actually perfect. It's about the same height as the fence. Nice. And so now what I'm going to do is go ahead and do a retaining wall all the way around. So I'm going to do one on this ledge as well. And then I'm going to do one around our basketball courts too. I really think it's going to look awesome. And so I will be right back with you. Okay. So I went ahead and did the retaining wall all the way around and I really like it. You can kind of tell where it's a little off the ground. It's not designed really to be on flat ground. And so you end up getting these uh, kind of spaces almost it's like the grass is there. You can almost see underneath it, but it's just the, the grass going across. The shadow just doesn't hit it as well. It kind of looks weird. It almost looks like it's floating, even though it's uh, even though it's not. It's just the light off of it. And so what, now what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and place down some young lindens around the outside. And then I'm going to do bushes. And then I'm going to do foliage along these hills. And then I'll end up placing in the parking spaces as well. And then I'll come back and we will do some concrete and we will just kind of clean everything up and make it look really good. And there we go. I think this looks fantastic. So I went ahead and did young lindens around the outside, but then I did um, little bushes in here with another live oak. And then I did little colorful bushes and I went ahead and tried to look for a more overgrown look over here. So I splattered in these um, yellow flowers in here and then I did a mixture of trees and foliage just to look like it's, you know, the school's been here a long time. And so this would just be a part of the grounds that aren't really kept as well. More of a natural look. And then I went ahead and just did the same thing over here and kind of splattered around some trees around here. And then I did some more young lindens, some more of those little pink bushes. And then the live oaks kind of going all the way through. And then this is what I was talking about with those flowers. I uh, just kind of scatter, scattered them around, made them look like they were wildflowers. Like they weren't actually planted. They're just kind of growing there. And I think it just looks really cool. I, I really like the look of that. And so now what I want to do is go ahead and do our small little plaza. So we're going to jump into 
surface painter and we are going to fill this in. And then what we're going to do is fill this in as well. We're going to go all the way up to the top and then we are going to jump into find it and go to planter. And it looks like caps lock is on. We'll come down here and what I'm going to do is try to look for those vertical ones. I think it's this one. So we could do wood, concrete. I think wood's probably good. That one's actually a little bit bigger. Yeah, here we go. So these ones right here. And I think we're going to do wood. It uh, looks like bricks, the only one. So we're going to come in here and what we're going to do is just do probably about three of these. And what this is going to be is just seating areas for anybody who maybe has just eaten lunch or something like that. And then we're going to come over here and since we did brick, we're going to use brick on these ones too. We're going to do planters all the way across the backside. This just really helps to make your area look a little more real, more alive. And these actually do function as parks too. So uh, people will come and sit down in them and, and relax. And so we're going to do some tables as well. We're going to jump in here, go to vanilla. And I think we're going to do these brown ones, these park tables. We're going to come in here and I think the spacing is a little much. We're going to drop the spacing... Increase the spacing to eight. Yeah, I think eight's good. So we'll do four, and then I'm gonna jump in to move it, grab all the tables, going to shift these over, and then I'm gonna copy that. And then we will place these right here. And you know what? That's just a really nice area for people to kind of walk through. I do think we need to shift it all up just a little bit. So I'm going to grab all of this, including the tables, we're just going to shift it up a little bit. We don't need to get crazy with it. If I can select everything. I don't know if I can. We shall see. There we go. And then let's come back here. Yeah, you know what? That's good. Because then we leave enough room for the sidewalk too. That's really what we... We don't want to encroach on the sidewalk. Um, especially since it does have a bench in there too. Where is the bench? Oh no, the, the path's right here. I don't know what I was thinking. All right, and so... We are then going to use those same planters. We'll jump back in here, planter. And you know what? I'll just use the find it mod. Yeah, we'll just use this and we'll grab that. And what I want to do is have this go all the way down. And I want it to be even. So we will go like this. Then what we're going to do is jump into the move it mod again. And it looks like we're just a little too far away from that top road. So I think if we shift it and then bring it up this way. Nice. Look at that. And so now these would just be an area where like if you're getting picked up from school or something, um, you could kind of wait here and it would just be a nice little area. These also function as parks though too. So uh, you get a nice park bonus and it looks really good. And so I think for my first uh, major high school, I think this turned out really well. I like the track and field. I like that we got the tennis courts kind of tucked in the back. I like that we got these basketball courts, but then um, I really like the gymnasium kind of on the backside of the high school. I think that's fantastic. And then we do have it all gated off. So if anybody needs to get in here, um, technically it would be like if school's in session, you wouldn't be able to come here. But on weekends or something, this would all function as a regular park at at least where I'm from. Um, schools double as park areas. And so um, I think it looks good. Go ahead and hit that like button if you guys enjoyed it. If you guys have any suggestions or comments or anything, go ahead and let me know. Another fun thing, if you guys are looking for some inspiration, I'm actually going to start doing some early access photos and some behind the scenes footage on my Patreon. And so for $3 a month, you can get some pictures, you can direct message me if you have any ideas, and then you'll be able to look at some of the cut videos where I show the, some of the detailing or some of the cuts that I that don't end up in the episodes. And so it's some really fun stuff. If you guys are interested, go ahead and check out my Patreon. It is in the link down below. And so now what we are gonna do is extend out our residential area a little bit um, we do have a pretty decent demand for commercial. Our industrial demand is really starting to creep up. Though I don't think we really need a whole lot. I think we can just place down a few more farming buildings and it's going to satisfy our need. And so I think we will place that right there. We'll place this right there. And then let's go ahead and place some up here as well. So we're going to place these. And this is really going to help to buffer our industrial demand. And you do still have to watch out because a lot of this is based off of goods needed. And so this doesn't really solve this as much as it solves the need for jobs. And so if we jump in here, you can actually see the unemployment rate. And so it normally your goal is to stay around like three or 4%. If it gets too low, then what that means is um, you just have too many jobs. It mostly comes from if you overzone commercial areas. Um, but now that we've done that, what I want to do is place down some fields. So I actually got some corn fields off the steam workshop. I'm going to 
drop these in just so that we can kind of blend in this area. So I'm going to place one right there and I'm going to come down here and I want this to be at about the same. So I think we're actually going to place these down. So I'm going to go right there, I'm going to go right here, and then I'm going to come up here again and go really close to the road. Not at the road, but we'll go like right there. And then what we'll do is we will just go right there and then we will cover this side as well. And you know what? I think that looks pretty good. I think we might even be able to fit one in here. I think that would be fantastic. Yeah, look at that. I think that looks great. And so now let's jump in here and change these to corn. So we'll go like that. Let's go ahead and do the same thing here. Change that to corn. And so now this whole field is corn, but we have really added in just a few more jobs. We need to put in some processing buildings, probably a flour mill. I think we only have, we actually don't have any of the flour mills. I don't know how we got away without any flour mills in here. That's kind of crazy. And so let's um, jump in here. We're going to go to a rural road. We're going to turn on snapping. And what I want to do is create a fun design in here. I don't want to just kind of place these down. So I think we will do a big flour mill right here. I think we're going to do some silos right next to it. So we're going to jump over to our silos. I'm going to go like this and I'm actually going to convert them to a procedural object. I'm going to jump in here and I'm just going to copy these just so that we can get a bunch of them. So maybe this would be like a silo storage or something. Yeah, look at that. I think that looks pretty good. We probably could add in some parking or something right here too, but I think the what it has is pretty good. I do want to add in a couple little warehouses though. So we'll come over here and I think we will add in this right there. And you know what? I think that pretty much completes the area. So now we have a flour mill. We have some animal pens, which is just fantastic. And then we've added in some more corn. And so let's check out our agricultural area. Where's our main building? Oh, it's right there. So let's look at our industry area. So we are still importing a little bit, but we uh, are now going to be making flour, which is great. I can't believe we didn't have that. I thought we already had a flour mill. Let's go ahead and place down another one as well. So we're going to do a flour mill right here. I think we're going to do it off of this building. And then we will pretty much just copy all this. And so I went ahead and set them as flour and animal products. And I think that looks really good. And we could honestly do a couple more fields back here too, just to kind of maximize our space. So we're going to go like that. And then we will jump in here and let's do some more fields. So we could do, we could do fruit too. So let's actually do some fruit trees. And then I think we are going to delete one of them and do a little homestead in here. And so we will go like that. And then let's go ahead and place down just one four by unit house. Really just want to get like a nice home in there. And then let's go ahead and do some trees in here just to kind of clean it up. Cause normally whenever you have agricultural areas like this, there's a lot of trees. I do want to do some uh, windbreaks in here though too. So let's jump in here. Let's go to our pine trees. I think I'm going to do, yeah, it's this one. We will do a couple little windbreaks like that. Yeah, look at that, perfect. We'll come across here and do the same thing. And then let's go ahead and do the same thing here as well. What this does is it helps to disperse the wind as it comes across so that it doesn't just blow all your crops. That's why it's, you normally will see big rows of of trees in uh, fields like this. And so now let's jump back into our main trees and we're just going to dot around some oaks, just kind of make it look natural. Like they're just trees that have been there a long time, untouched. Especially um, like in California, oak trees are protected. And so you can't, um, you can't take them down. They're actually all counted too. They're all in like an index. So we'll go like that. And then let's go ahead and just kind of splatter some of these around too. Nice, there we go. I actually think this turned out really well. Um, I like that we did the trees in there. It just kind of breaks it up, makes it look more natural. And then now we have increased our, our, dem our production by quite a bit. It actually looks like we're importing more now though. It could be just because of the, the flower. It could also be because of the storage tanks, because we just placed them down, they normally will send out calls for imports just to fill them up. And then, um, once the production gets kind of ramped up, then it normally calms down. So this should be, um, 100% I would hope. I mean, we placed down quite a few, but we'll kind of let that run for now and then we will uh, always come back to it. It did kind of satisfy a little bit of our industrial demand. Not a lot, but it definitely did a little bit. And so now let's jump over here. And what I want to do is jump into a two unit road. 
And I want to be mindful of this layout. So we are going to go about 13 out. I think 13 units is probably good. And so we'll come out here again. We'll go 13. And then what we're going to do is jump over here. And I think I'm going to curve this in. I think it will go straight like that. And then let's go ahead and mirror that. So we're going to come out 13 again. And then let's do one more. We do have a really big hill here, but I want to try to grow up the hill a little bit. Not a lot, but just enough. Nice. Look at that. I think that actually looks really good. So then we're going to go like that. And it does look like we are starting to encroach upon this hill. So now we will come up here. We will curve this in. And we'll go like right here. I think that's probably good. And let's go ahead and do a road off here. And we will curve this around. Let's go ahead and connect it up. Yeah, you know what? I think that looks pretty good. And then let's go ahead and do another road off here. I think we're going to have to make it a little bit shorter though. Yeah, nice. Look at that. Perfect. And then I would like to fit one more road in here. I don't know if we're going to be able to though. Let's see. So if we go about six units now, it's going to be too tight. So I think that's probably good for this area. I would like to have uh, closed these little gaps, but I think they actually leave a little bit of room for us to do something else. I think we can maybe do one in here so maybe we'll do 10 and 10 and then let's see about connecting these up and then just looping them in yeah nice i think that looks pretty good and then we can kind of fill this space in with something i think we'll just do a couple crossovers yeah we'll just go like that i think that looks great and then i think we will keep our grid like this as well even though it wasn't initially my intention to do that i think this looks good though it provides enough access for this area to where um People would be able to get around and I think it's going to be fantastic. And so we have our elementary and high school right there. We do need to do some commercial off this backside. And so another thing that I did want to do is start upgrading our roads. I want to do bike lanes and then I think we're going to do trams all the way around. Because um, especially this residential area, it's kind of far. It's far from the industrial area. It's far from the highway. So if anybody lived back here and needed to go somewhere else, it would be really difficult for them. And so... I think that's going to be smart. We are going to jump in here and let's go to tram roads first, just so we can see what we, uh, we build with this. And so we are going to go to a four lane tram road and we are going to upgrade this bottom road all the way down. Yeah. I think we're going to go like right here and I'm literally going to loop this all the way around the bottom side. And there we go. So I went ahead and did trams all the way around that front road, but then I also did them down our couplet and then I did them down our main arterials as well as our little one way kind of plaza turns right here. And then for the bigger roads, what I did was I used a bike lane road, bike lane tram road. And so now what I would like to do is jump into some bike roads. And what I want to do is upgrade some of these through streets. So like this one right here, we'll probably do all the way down. And what this is going to do is just provide some much needed access to the inner parts of these neighborhoods for people to bike out to either the tram station or even possibly to work or something like that. So we're going to go like this, go all the way down. And you know, we can even connect that up and go up over here. Because then that brings it all the way down to the main uh, little convent, uh, little area. So then we will do the same thing here since this is connected to that main arterial. And we will do the same thing here. And this is really going to help people to just get around so much faster. Go like this. And you know what? That's probably good right there. I think we'll do this road as well. Just so that we can get people around. That's really the goal here. The more we can get people around, the better. And so I think we're going to do all of the vertical streets in here. Especially since these are all dirt roads. This is really going to help out our city so much. Nice. You know what? I think that's probably pretty good. So we have these roads right here. I don't believe these are bike roads. Let's go ahead and upgrade these to bike roads as well, especially since it's along the, the train tracks and our commercial corridor. This would just be a really good area for it. And it would help people to get to our new school. Um, another thing, while I was building those out, we did hit our next milestone. We hit 10,000 population, even though it's so funny. We're for some reason losing popula population now. Do we mess something up? So what's our, so our health's okay. It does look like we need to do um, another clinic over here. Let's look at our trash. So our trash is okay. How's our death care? Uh, so our death care could definitely use some help. We don't have any child care or elder care just yet. Let's look at our fire. So yeah, this whole area just needs some more services. 
Let's actually do that real quick because um, it looks like we're, we're just losing population for some reason. That's probably it. So let's jump in here. Let's see where we don't have any. So we have one right there. We have one right there. Have one right there. We only have one right there. So let's go ahead and place one down here. And then let's go ahead and place one up here as well. Yeah, I think that's going to be good. And we could probably place one up here too. Let's place it on the main road. And then let's jump into fire department now. So, oh man, we don't have any. Oh yeah, we have one up there. We have one down here. Let's go ahead and place one down here. And then let's place one up here as well. These um, work really well if you just kind of place them in neighborhoods almost. They don't necessarily need to be on uh, commercial areas or anything like that. Nice. And so that should really help out our area a lot. I mean, a ton. And so let's look at police now too. So we got a police station right there, police station, two police stations. I actually think our police stations are pretty good. It does look like our jail capacity is getting pretty tight though. So maybe we'll place down one right there. Yeah, I think that'll be good. Kind of boosted it up a little bit. So now it does look like our population is going positive again. It does look like we need to uh, zone in some more residential real fast though. But before we do that, I do want to do our tram lines real quick. So we need to do a tram depot. And I think we're just going to place it right off this main road. And I think we'll we'll have one uh, a tram line go into our industrial area and kind of spit out over here. I think that'll be smarter. So I think placing it on the couplet's going to be kind of weird. So then we will come in here. Let's go ahead and choose. We'll choose the four lane road. Yeah, that'll be good because these are all dirt roads still. So we'll go like this. We'll just come around. Let's go ahead and turn off collision. Nice. There we go. And so now at least. Uh, this area will have a little more coverage. And so let's go ahead and attach our tram road right here. Nice. I'm just going to go ahead and leave that disconnected. It's not the end of the world. And then let's do our tram line. So I want to do a few of them. I don't want to just uh, place one. I want to do um, a couple big ones all the way around. So I think we're going to do one going down this way. And then we're going to do one going the opposite way. But then I want to have one for this area. Probably the same thing going each direction. And then we'll probably leave this area blank for right now, um, but it is an area where we can expand in the future. All right, so it looks like because we expanded out our agricultural area, we are now having some pretty bad traffic. So I want to stop detour real quick, and we are just going to upgrade these roads. So having these all on uh, dirt roads is just not working out anymore. Go like this all the way around, and we'll probably need to create some better access off the backside for this as well. I'll go like this, bring this down, go ahead and go like this as well. And you know what? That should already help out so much. Let's go ahead and upgrade this road too. And then let's jump into traffic manager and just set up these lane priorities real quick. Just holding control shift, control shift, and then clicking into the intersection. And what that does is it gives dedicated turn lanes where it can. You got to be kind of careful of it though. Um, sometimes it does some weird turn signals and so you just got to watch out but that should um, help out quite a bit because it looks like we're just having some crazy backup over here okay so i went ahead and fixed all those intersections and i let the game run for a little bit and it seems to be doing pretty good and so now let's jump into our tram roads finally and let's uh place these down so what i want to do is do like i said all the way around this way and then the opposite direction and then one this way as well and then the opposite direction actually probably this one and so I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick, and I will be right back with you. Nice, and so now we have trams set up all the way around. And it's going to take a little while for the trains for the trams to populate, and so I'm just going to let them run real quick while we zone out this area. So let's jump into some low-density residential, and we're going to follow a similar pattern to what we have going on over here. So we're going to have commercial go down this main street, but then we're going to fill in this middle section with pretty much all residential. I think we are going to save this space right here for a park. I feel like it's just going to be a really great space for like a hilltop park, like a city view area. I really love those in real life. And so I think it would be a great spot for it. And so we're going to go ahead and go down here. We're going to get the opposite side of the road here. I want to make sure that we're not getting on the road right here and actually go like right there. And then we're going to come back through and do um, commercial. I feel like that's going to be really good. And while those are growing in, let's go ahead and place down some parks. Oh man, I thought we did parks over here, but it looks like we didn't. Um, in my test builds, I had identified that we needed more parks. This is like pretty bad. So I want to come through here. We're just going to 
put them in these neighborhoods a little bit. I want to turn back on collision though. I don't want a house in the middle of our park. So we're going to place one right there. We're going to come over here and place one as well. And these are just little neighborhood parks. We're going to place some playgrounds as well. These would be where like if you just want to take the kids down to a park real quick, you can kind of just go down the street. You wouldn't have to go really far. So we'll place one right there as well. And then I think we're going to place one right here. And then I also want to do a couple dog parks, parks as well. Though I don't think a dog park would be necessary for this uh, this style of city. I feel like there would be a lot of areas for people to just walk their dog. But it's still nice to have dog parks. Like if you want to kind of relax, sit on a bench. And you know what? I think this looks pretty good. I think this space down here is calling out for a bigger park though. I think if we jump in here. Come on. You can do it. Slope too steep. Alright, well. Maybe not. Maybe we, I mean, we can place the small one, so there you go. I didn't just place that in our school. No, I didn't. For a second, I thought I placed it like right here. I was going to be like, no, we just ruined our brand new school. And so let's uh, fill this in with residential too, especially right across the street from the school. That'd be primo. And so that looks pretty good. Oh man, do we need to do, I think we need to do more water sewage too, water treatment. And we are going to be doing a big one of these as well. Anybody who's familiar with my builds knows that I normally wait with new cities um, to do stuff like this until you can have some, some more unlocked. Early on in a city, it's really just about kind of growing it and getting your first, uh, your road layouts going and stuff like that. And so we're going to place that right there. Let's go ahead and look at that. Yeah, you know what? I think this looks great. This looks so good. I do want to come in and do some trees once this all grows out. Let's go ahead and check out our tram lines. One, two, three, four. So we got 12 and 13. I think we could probably drop these down. 12 seems like a lot. Yeah, 12 looks like a lot too. So let's actually drop this down to 10 and then we're gonna do the same for that, for that other one. These are both the same line. They just run in opposite directions. So we're going to go like that. And then we're actually going to change the color on these other ones. What was that? One and two. So we're going to change three and four to both green. Just so that we can identify it. They're both the same lines. Just uh, run in opposite directions. This one's pretty low as well. I think I'm going to drop this down to five. One thing you got to worry about with trams is that they are still on your road. And so they can definitely cause a lot of congestion if you don't pay attention to it. This one, I mean, there was one line that was actually getting pretty busy, but... This one, once it grows out more, it's going to uh, get a little busier right now. We really just don't have a lot going on. And because we zoned out so much, our demand has really just kind of crashed. Um, good thing though, I mean, our biking is now way up. we got so many bike lanes. Let's go ahead and look at our city stats and see if our biking has gone up. So where is it? Mm, cyclists, there we go. Uh, well, it looks like it's actually gone down. Well, I wonder if this is because of... Uh, all the trams so it did peak it's definitely getting up there but i think once we uh, enabled the trams a lot of people who were biking are now taking the tram which kind of makes sense i mean they probably would be and i want to leave these spaces for us to do some cool stuff same with that we're going to place down some unique buildings and stuff i think it's going to be fantastic and i really like this um go ahead and let me know in the comments what you guys think i'm really unsure of what to do with this city i know we're going to do the downtown right here and I think I want to do some levels. So I think we're going to come in here and start doing some mountains and something fun. That was really my idea with the whole Albany, New York thing was it's a city just on a on a big hill, at least their downtown area. And, and it it's definitely an older city. It's one of the oldest cities in, in the United States. But I want to try and capture some of that. And so I think it looks great. Um, if you guys are interested in checking out the first episode of this video, go ahead and click on the video on your screen. I'm going to do a little time lapse after this, kind of showing everything that we built in this one. It's going to take a little while for these to grow in. So I think on the next episode, we'll kind of go over all this. We got all the parks and everything, though, and we got trams. We really did a lot. I think it looks great. And so I hope you enjoy the time lapse.